And I've got the, the Blackhawks here on the road against the Leafs. Joseph Wall is definitely confirmed by the beat writers. It looks like to be in goal here. Maybe it's going to be Mrazek for uh, Chicago in this one. And look at this line. Hello. Is it April already? Toronto minus 325. And, yeah, we have concerns, right, already with Chicago. Okay, the first game was fine. Chicago, they're making these guys play all these games right out of the gate on the road here. This is already going to be the fourth game for the Blackhawks so far, all on the road uh, with Connor. That's kind of – that kind of sucks. <laughs> putting them out there on the road to start the season. All three games have gone under so far uh, for the Leaf, for the, uh, I'm sorry, for the Blackhawks. Leafs have gone over in both games thus far, but uh, yeah, we're not seeing maybe the increased offense from the Black. Yeah, I think, well, maybe we are. I don't know. They scored two goals uh, in the loss to Montreal. They scored three goals or scored the one goal. Uh, in the loss to Boston after opening the season with that 4-2 victory against Pittsburgh now. So a little bit of, you know, stamina already, stamina issues or uh, whatnot for where the Blackhawks are at, making them start on the road like this currently. And it does feel like they're, you know, I, like I said, I was – I'm I'm kind of pro Blackhawks at this point. I think there will be improvement. I'm actually disappointed the way they they haven't been able to get an, uh, another vi victory just yet. But I think we're gonna have to get them home here, get a little momentum. Kind of going in this, kind of going right now. I would I would think. So. This series, this series usually isn't over. They've gone over in five straight meetings uh, in Toronto. They've gone over in seven of the last eight. And uh, interestingly, you know, Blackhawks have been have done well in this series uh, of late, but it's also kind of a home dominated series. And uh, man, uh, that price three twenty five. It does feel a little bit high. I mean, I would never go with a premium here, but I'm probably going to try the try the Leafs. I, I'm going to be. How many? I'm on three puck lines on the show. This can't be good. After you know, kind of turning things around here quickly with my hockey picks in the premium category. But well, you'll get some puck lines on the show certainly, I guess. And I, I'm going to I'm going to take the Leafs. It doesn't feel totally comfortable here, but especially because I think maybe, just maybe, uh, the – oh, here's Doubles, our Chicago correspondent. Let me get his comments here on this one. He's got the Blackhawks here hanging in there. Yeah, yeah, probably, probably overvalued. Yeah, I'm sure of it. But just feels like you're making these guys play all these road games right now that the, the Blackhawks just aren't ready to, you know, kind of maybe this is one they'll uh, maybe they'll suck it up and have an, and come out with another strong game. Obviously, I'm buried, you know, burying the lead here with Austin Matthews, uh, hottest player in the league by far right now with, you know, <laughs> why, you know, why didn't I start the art? You know, why didn't I start the video just saying off Austin Matthews ten times? I could have done worse than that. And that's why they've gone over in both games. I mean, he has hat tricks in both games. What did they say? Uh, some kind of some kind of mark or hasn't been done in forever. But uh, two games, two hat tricks for Austin Matthews, a six five win over my Habs in a shootout and the 7-4 win over the Wild. Uh, both games here uh, in Toronto. Rays on the Blackhawks here. Darren wants to lean on the over. And uh, No, I'm all about it, Doubles. Believe me, I'm all about uh, Bedard. It's just that 
the problems are so we're so deeply rooted uh, in Chicago that it's just I believe the culture change will take more time with the Blackhawks and maybe with some other franchises currently. I don't, I don't know if you were here when we talked about the season opener and I was on Chicago and talked about how, look, it was just, a, you know, several years ago now, but I mean, remember, I mean, we won that Stanley Cup. I say we because I'm talking to doubles. But, you know, remember when the Blackhawks won that Stanley Cup and, you know, to be as miserable as it's been the last few years, this is great momentum. This is a lot of excitement. But to send these kids, you know, send these guys on the road right now four straight games like this, it does feel a little bit unfair. And I think, like I said, maybe, you know, yeah, this line sucks, 325. I, I, I don't know, but I just feel like it's a terrible spot. I, there's nothing I could do about the line. And even my uh, gut instinct to say, you know, you got to take a, the Blackhawks here just feels like this is an overwhelming situation for Chicago right now. You can't even beat Montreal on the, you know, you lost, well, it was a one-goal game, so. But this, but this is Toronto now. So four to two seems, you know, I don't even, I don't, feels like Toronto, the way they're scoring goals, uh, we might be, you know, maybe it can go over in this one, but I don't know. Four to two seems, seems most likely to me, four to two. I mean, Toronto can't score six or seven goals every time, can they, even against the Blackhawks? And it's going to be slow going, it feels like now, all of a sudden, for the Blackhawks. But I'm all about the turnaround. I'm all about the change. I'm all about the, you know, I think the kid is upstanding. I think he, you know, there's no doubt. In the NHL, the can't miss prospects, they never miss. They've always, you know, they're always, the, the, because look at them all, right? We saw it in that. Remember that that cool interview with with uh, Crosby and Connor on opening night. You know, Crosby was one of those guys. All those guys that come in, I don't say all of them. I mean, they're you know one every five years or so, right? But when they come into the league, when they the the touted superstars, the Crosbys, the Lemieux, even dating back to the when. You know, uh, Gretzky, but just talk about that. The score, the Austin Matthews. You can even look at it, Austin Matthews. He he was a you know, can't miss prospect type of kid, and he has not missed. He has been all that. Yeah, you know, it, uh, could Toronto stand to win a few more big games? Could Toronto stand to win a playoffs there? Yeah, yeah. You want to really prove it long term, Austin Matthew, you know, let's get it done one day. But you're not going to say he's not a super, you know, he's not one of the biggest star, one of the biggest scoring stars in the game, Austin Matthews, for sure. I think that's what we got here, too, is a, a awesome matchup. You're going to be talking about this as being, here's the thing, right? You look at this card tonight, and there's, you know, nondescript matchups in all five it's kind of a kind of a who cares kind of card and to a certain extent. No disrespect to my hockey fans. I'm here previewing hockey and not many do on any of these shows. But I'm looking at this card tonight and I don't see any matchup that stands out but this one and it's minus 325. And the reason it stands out is because you've got Austin Matthews with the six goals so far and okay so Connor's got one goal. One, does he have one assist? Does he have two? I think he's got. Does he have one or two assists? I think he's got whatever it is in the two games. He's got the goal or three games, and that's what this game is all about. And uh, you know, Austin Matthews was a you know can't one of the can't miss prospects when a guy comes up and they're like this is one of going to be and he is he's come through. They won the you know. They haven't won. There's no doubt. But Austin Matthews, you know, his career is not over. Austin Matthews, he hasn't even reached the uh, the middle, you know, the the middle, the prime. I think, right? He still feels like he's on the way up. Could use some support, or that maybe they could just use some clutch play in Toronto. 
So let's take Toronto one more time. Yeah, do, do, I, do I feel uncomfortable? Yeah. Uh, would, what is a comfortable price for me in this game? Maybe to even make a premium play with a puck line? Probably 275 And maybe it should be. But to me, it's it's about this fatigue factor right now with Chicago and just the way the season's starting, losing two. They're the first team to four games, right? And uh, we've only been playing six days. Six days, so uh, I'll, I'm going to try the Maple Leafs on a puck line. I've got three puck lines on the show. This can't go well. <laughs> 